The book I want to read to you today is Izzy Lizzy Alligator, A Tale of a Big Lizard. Alligators are fascinating creatures, but the thing that I stress the most in my book, this book, is to stay away from alligators and never, ever feed them. Izzy Lizzy Alligator was a big, lizard-like creature. She had large, dangerous teeth and powerful jaws. Everyone and everything needed to stay away from her and never, ever feed her. The big lizard liked to lie in a muddy swamp. Bony armor protected her, and her skin was tough and leathery. Izzy Lizzie was a mother alligator. Near her was a nest mound of grass and mud. She guarded the nest day and night, chasing away anything that came near. One day, Izzy Lizzie lay listening for sounds from the nest. She began to hear wiggles and squeaks. Come here, come here, her hatchlings chirped. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Izzy Lizzie alligator heard them and hurried to the nest. Carefully, she opened it with her big mouth. Each of the hatchlings had a little tooth for tearing open its egg, but some of the shells were too tough. The baby gators couldn't get out. One by one, Izzy Lizzie helped them by carefully biting down on the eggs. Is everyone all right now? Izzy Lizzie asked. I still have some eggshells stuck to my back. How can I get rid of it? asked Lizzie Lou. She was a female baby hatched near the bottom of the nest. I'll carry you to the water, Izzy Lizzie replied. She picked up Lizzie Lou in her big mouth and rinsed her off at the water's edge. Young alligators crawled up to watch the new babies, but Izzy Lizzie didn't drive them away. They were an older brood of hers, hatched a year earlier. Where are the rest of your babies, they asked. There were 30 of us when we hatched. Izzy Lizzie sighed. I only have six hatchlings this time. What on earth is wrong? How did that happen? Gabby, a young gator, asked. I wish that I knew, his mother replied. I'm worried there must be a danger in the swamp. We need helpful humans. What are helpful humans, Gabby asked. They care about all of Earth's creatures, Izzy Lizzie replied. Now follow me, she said. I must look for food. I haven't eaten in a long time. The mother alligator slipped into the water, and the young gators followed her. Gabby Gator swam near Lizzie Lou. Watch how I catch food, he said and he leaped out of the water to catch a big dragonfly. Thank you for showing me, Lizzie Lou said, but I'm not hungry right now. I have a little leftover egg sack for food. The young gator's world was a dangerous place, but Izzy Lizzy angrily drove away anything that bothered her young. Hungry animals, otters, raccoons, and herons often tried to catch and eat the little gators. One day, when Izzy Lizzy Alligator was out of sight, helpful humans came to check her old nest. They were worried when they found that only six eggs had hatched. That chemical spill must have caused this, one of the humans said. We must do everything we can to keep a spill from happening again. The helpful humans picked up the old eggshells and the eggs that didn't hatch. They would study them in a lab. Winter came to the swamp and the watery places dried up. All the gators had to have water. But Izzy Lizzy Alligator wasn't worried. She knew just what to do. Follow me, she said. I will find water. Izzy Lizzy crawled through the swamp. At last she found a muddy place and dug a hole in it. The hole filled up with water and the gators were glad. Many other animals came to the gator hole. It was a dangerous place for them, but they all needed the water. 
Izzy, Lizzie, and her gator stayed around the hole until springtime. They always had plenty of food to grab. One spring evening, Izzy Lizzie was lying lazily in the mud. Suddenly, she heard a loud sound, the bellowing of a bull alligator. I'll answer his call, she thought, and she bellowed back with a higher pitched sound. The big bull alligator thundered again. Izzy Lizzie simply could not stay away. She crawled toward the bellowing until she found him. There he was, lying in shallow water. Whenever he bellowed, water jumped up, and the ground even shook. Izzy Lizzie slid into the water. The big male greeted the female by swimming in circles around her. I like the looks of this big gator, thought Izzy Lizzie. She decided to join him in alligator courtship. Summertime came, and there was Izzy Lizzie guarding a new nest of eggs. I hope that there will be more hatchlings this time, she sighed. Her eggs began to hatch, and she rushed to help the new babies. One, two, three. There were 40 hatchlings tumbling from the nest. There was joy in the swamp. The poison was gone, and with helpful humans around to help them, big gators would live on and on. Did you like that story?